looking super cool I'm a sidekick, sidekick, that's the life for me As I super see those people plus see those dreams A sidekick, sidekick, what an awesome gig Just like superheroes What's going on? School play audition. Anna's taking up the competition. Ah! <sighs> they would have been crushed when they didn't get it anyway. Sounds cool. What's it about? McBlast? <laughs> <gasps> Shh! You're not supposed to say the name out loud! Bad things happen if you do! <laughs> McBlast! 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's about Mick. You know, a sidekick who becomes a super and saves the world and his lady fair from his evil master. <sighs> Banna, kissing, posters? I need that part! <clears throat> <coughs> Uh, um, for my audition, I've prepared a monologue for my favorite comic book. The Black Stinkworm. The Stench! Beware the Stench! For it is I, um, the, uh, the, uh, the Black, uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Next! Oh, here's the cast list! I don't need to look. Kitty, look for me. Oh, yeah, this yeah I was Whatever. It's a silly play with a silly director who couldn't see talent if it destroyed half a stage. Eric, you got the part! The director is a genius! <laughs> uh, understudy! I have to wait until Eric is injured before I can play his part? I can wait. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Aw, I want to be in the play, too. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, maybe you can be a stage monkey like Kitty. That's stage manager. We control the lights, the curtains, and the sets. Yeah! <laughs> Look at me! I'm assistant stage monkey! <laughs> no! Trap <and> don't! <laughs> well, practice is important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say thanks. No need! You're perfect! For the role I have in mind. Trillium Shakespeare? The director! It's Trillium Shakespeare! Of course. That's him. Who else would it be? But he, he's a supervillain, and he wants to kill me! Remember? We defeated him! <gasps> you chopped off his foot? How do you like that? I'm pouring sour milk on your face! He's out for revenge! Lies! All lies! The theater! Tis my true passion! I only supervillain on the side. Now we rehearse! Well, I guess I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. At least until after we rehearse. The kissing scene. <coughs> Actors! In this, the climax, McBee has slung off the shackles of oppression from his super awesome man! Feels their emotions as thou dost battle with thy former oppressor! That meaneth action! Go. Awesome guy! Uh, tis now time to, uh, to meet your... Mac Maker? You defeat me, my former sidekick! I slam at thee and on! Ha <laughs> ha! Now with jump and save me verily! Ow! Oh, hey, take it easy. Triumph! He is defeated, and you are saved. Yeah, right. We shall now seal this victory with a kiss. Tis 
no passion, no danger. Thou must fight back like this. And this. And this. This isn't in the script. <laughs> I love the theater! He's trying to kill me. Oh, please. He's been pummeling me at every rehearsal. You've just got the jitters. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Come on, Trevor. Julian wants us to get the battle tank ready to run over Eric repeatedly. Ooh. Huh. Maybe I am overreacting. Plus, if I get through this last rehearsal, we might finally get to... Hold everything! I present a last-minute rewrite. It's opening night, and this final scene is still lacking passion. Danger! I have just the thing! And action! Awesome guy, tis now time to meet your Mac Maker. Hmm. <gasps> oh. Yes! More! We need more drama, more jeopardy, more danger! <laughs> in the script? Eric, stop whining! <laughs> start acting! Who's whining? <laughs> now if, jump and save me verily! Uh, triumph! We shall now, finally, seal this victory with a kiss. Cut! <sighs> oh, come on! It's still not right! We will rehearse this again, and again, and again! Tonight, we must fill it this theater with drama! And maybe more explosions. That's it! You want drama? I'll give you drama! I quit! Eric, you can't quit! It's opening night! I tell ya, he's trying to kill me! Fine, quit! Whatever! Alan will be much better anyway. <laughs> I look forward to acting with you tonight, but our kiss, that will not be acting. <sighs> Back off, fish lips. I've suffered too long to let you get the glory or that kiss. I'm back in the play. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hit it! Opening night rocks! <laughs> Giveth me all your coins, or I shall do evil things anon. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if your super is a hero no more, we must vanquish him and save the world. But I am but a humble sidekick, fair maiden. How am I to defeatest my master? Ah! Oh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> How am I doing out there? You're doing great. You're almost finished. I mean, the play's almost finished. <laughs> I'm no critic, but I give it 87 and a half stars and two thumbs sideways. Even if Drillium is trying to kill me, it'll all be worth it after this final scene. <laughs> it's time to smooch! Saveth me, mine hero! Visseth is it. I once it was a lowly sidekick, but now I am a hero. Do thy worst! <laughs> That's worse, all right. <laughs> Wrong button. 
My play is undone. Oh, woe is me. Unless... Get back out there! To this, to take up arms against my former master. Well, yes. Then, I mean, uh, Lady McBlast! Save it me, my bravest of heroes! Tis now time to meet your Mac Maker! <laughs> Defeated, and you are saved. We shall now seal this victory with a kiss. <laughs> now that was theater. It sure was. <laughs> Next time, just kill me, okay? Listen up, you inferior pea brain talentless wretches! Today we will learn the art of the quick change. From civilian to sidekick, using any object in your vicinity as a change room. Like this, perhaps. Works for me. Too easy. Ha! Try finding a phone booth in this day and age. Small, but I'm sure it's cozy. <gasps> he can't be serious. Well, well. It would appear we have a volunteer to get us started. But wait, I... Ugh. Whatever. <gasps> Look on the bright side, buddy. At least it wasn't me. <laughs> Time's up! <laughs> <laughs> On. <laughs> As expected, that was a disaster. <gasps> that mark! <gasps> huh. Never noticed that before. Perhaps you best look at this! <gasps> <gasps> is that... Is that... It is the exact same birthmark! No! That! <laughs> Yes, I have an enormous Audi. Deal with it. Class dismissed. <laughs> out, out, schnell! Not you, Eric. Huh? That birthmark can mean but one thing. You are the long lost son I never knew or even had any reason to suspect I had. What? How is this possible? I took part in a lot of cloning experiments in university. I always want an heir. Someone I could groom to my exact specifications. Who knows how many little me's are out there? <laughs> I see you are in shock. You must move through the five stages of grief, starting with denial. So Papa Moose is my dad? Ah! No, no, it can't be true. Anger. Why me? Why me? Bargaining. Maybe we can make a deal. Some sort of bargain? Depression. Why do bad things always happen to me? Acceptance. Then again, I have a dad. Eric Needles has a dad. How about Eric Nipples puts on his shirt? <laughs> is that for me? Take it, son. It is your birthright. Um, hello? Eric, what happened to your legs? Uh... <laughs> Oops. Maybe you should think about losing the chair. For your own safety? You should have seen his face when he gave it to me. Ah! That smile! It burns! Besides, it's not a chair. It's a birthright. I finally have a dad! Eric, it's Pomplamoose. I'd rather have...
have no dad than him. It's bad enough we have to spend time with him here. Now you have to see him <gasps> outside school. That chair is going to give me nightmares. This is my chance for a real, albeit extremely weird, family. I have to take it. Well, hmm. I admit there are similarities. Weak chin, beady eyes, concave chest, and that does explain your test tube shaped body. Hello, Eric! Clone Daddy is here. Let us spend the weekend together. You know what? That sounds great. <laughs> come, come, there is much to do. Can it be true? Am I finally rid of Eric? Do I get to enjoy some peace and quiet for a change? I am so lonely. So, son, how are your grades? Oh, wait, I remember. Terrible. Um, these chairs, very hovery. Ha. Wow, family small talk is a lot harder than it looks. I wonder how Trevor and his dad do it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ah, this is wonderful, oh, very good needles. To the Trouble Myers! You know, you were right to seek my advice. After all, Trevor and I are the poster family for father-son bonding. Isn't that right, son? I'd rather be transported to a demon dimension than spend time with you. Yes, sir, we're a couple of amigos. Best buds, two peas in a pod. Yes, yes, but what is your secret? Well, I'd say the only secret is that we have no secrets. You see that tree over there? What tree? I see no tree. <laughs> First tree Trevor ever climbed. <sighs> and we climbed it together. You see that scorch mark over there? Oh, yeah. What tree? <laughs> that was where I fired off my first turbo rocket, and Dad totally sewed my fingers back on himself. Huh? <laughs> you see, a true bond means you're totally connected. You are alike in every way. Yes, I see now. I'm sorry, we can't stay for dinner. My son and I have some real bonding to do. Ah, but what about the burgers? I made the special sauce myself. Maybe next time, Mr. Troublemeyer. of you lately. I know. Pimp Daddy can be a little overbearing. I had to sneak away this morning just so I could walk to school with you guys. Clone son! I brought you some thirsty towels! Ah! Oh, Eric, why do you let him smother you like that? Always there, always watching, always closing all the blinds so I can't see in! What? What? It's not so bad. He's just trying to make up for lost time. Clone son, I was so worried. Sorry, Dad, I, I just wanted to walk to... Walk? What is this walk? A pumple moose doesn't mingle with the weather schnickles. He floats above them. Now, let us be away. Yes, sir. I don't want you wasting any more time with this sidekick nonsense. From now on, you will take your rightful place at my side. Wait, you mean... Correct. I shall train you to become the future headmaster and chief disciplinarian! <laughs> uh, have you guys seen Eric? Attention! 
I am pleased to introduce your new instructor, who also happens to be my clone son, Panpalmos Jr. Is not Eric. You will address my boy by his proper title. Uh, is that really necessary? These are my friends. Son, you must stop thinking of these worms as friends and start thinking of them as, well, worms. Okay, now I'm a little insulted here. Yeah, right? Now at some point, you will almost suddenly find yourself being dropped into a tank filled with man-eating robo-sharks. The best way to prepare for this eventuality is... To be dropped into a tank filled with man eating robo sharks. <gasps> and as my heir, you must choose a volunteer. What? I, I can't! They're my friends! But you must, my son. I insist. No! I'll do it! No! Kitty will do it. If I have to choose a volunteer to be sacrificed, then I choose... ...myself! No! Ah! Ah! My boy, my poor brave little clone son! Oh, the horror! The horror! This is the first day of my... What? Hey, look at that. It was just a stain. I think it's the pizza pudding I made the other night. Mm-hmm. I still say it could've used more chocolate pepperoni. Uh-oh. <laughs> Prepare for this deception. From now on, you are my permanent volunteer. Starting with this spiky ball of death! Boy, am I glad that's over. Eric just lost his first real dad. Yeah, don't care. Anyone feeling peckish? Lunch? Cool. Yeah, huh? Ah! 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 Ah!